Hello everyone. My name is Saurabh and I'm a SharePoint practice head at eDynamic. Today we will be talking about new features in SharePoint 2013. Actually, uh, there are a lot of new cool features and improvements in SharePoint 2013 like uh, uh, improvisation in SQL, mobile, and BI uh, has been drastically improved. Sharing functionality has been enhanced as well, making it easier to follow people, sites, and conversations. SharePoint 2013 offers shredded storage, themes, request management, new search architecture, personalized search result based on search history, and more. So during our today's discussion, uh, I will be uh, talking more about features like cloud-based app model, MDS, that's minimal download strategy, themes, enhanced social and collaboration features, enhanced search, workflows, enterprise content management, and web content management. And at the end, we'll, we'll talk a little about the uh, business connectivity services as well. OK, in the cloud-based app model, uh, well, this is something very similar to what we have for our Android called Marketplace and for our iPhones or iPads called uh, App Store. Uh, this this cloud-based app model actually, I think, uh, it provides more flexibility for on-premise deployments as well. Uh, well, before we talk a little about the on-premise, I'll just talk about the, the cloud-based app model in a little more detail. Developers now can create application, can post it on the cloud-based uh, system, and the applications will be visible to the SharePoint users globally. They can choose like what all customizations are like the best fit for their organization. Just click on it. If the the application is available for free, the application will be downloaded and will be ready to use. And if uh, there is some licensing cost associated with it, the users will be prompted to just enter the details and uh, just procure the application over the internet and then can start using it. So this type of uh, 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 cloud-based app model is also applicable for the organization's uh, in-house SharePoint deployment as well. For example, like you have got an organization uh, where you have got more number of users, say more than 5,000 or 10,000 users, and uh, you don't want to have a customization for some specific uh, user or you don't want to have a customization for the entire organization. So you can always choose, can narrow down, can cluster the groups and then can uh, further implement those customizations for those specific number or type of users or for some specific type of uh, sites or site collections. So this is a very interesting feature and uh, for the on-premise deployment, uh, the server-side code has always been a nightmare in terms of deployment, security, debugging, and having enough developers that really understand how to properly code for a SharePoint server-side implementation has always been quite a few pain areas. Uh, but now, things uh, are totally different. Things are totally changed. In the cloud-based app model, things will be visible, for, uh, visible to everyone in the organization, and all the SharePoint users, they can just choose what exactly is the best fit for them. And for Office 365, it's obviously the way to go. Also, SharePoint developers using the native web service should certainly switch to the client side object model. Okay, let's talk a little about minimal download strategy. This uh, MDS is something which has recently been introduced by Microsoft on SharePoint. Up till now, uh, SharePoint uh, has uh, not been that efficient on this, uh, even though SharePoint 2010 did some improvements. Uh, however, most often, the whole page has been reloaded for each and every action. This, of course, affects all end users and the, the perceived performance of SharePoint. But now with SharePoint 2013, we have a whole new system, and uh, thanks to minimal download strategy for that. Now, for example, say you have 15 different pages on SharePoint uh, in a site collection and every time when you need to browse through a different content, you just click on a link and the entire page gets reloaded. So now things will be changed in 2013 when you will be clicking on some specific link, only the area that needs to be changed, only the specific mm, uh, content uh, that, or data or picture that needs to be changed will be refreshed. So uh, it will save up a lot on the bandwidth part as well. Okay, let's talk a little about the uh, new themes that we have in SharePoint 2013. SharePoint 2013 has introduced something called composed looks. These are essentially themes 
that we used to see in the old SharePoint versions as well. These are essentially list items that tells you about themes and its components. As a developer, you cannot get a theme version of your CSS that uses the theme colors and styles with a simple line of code. So the themes engine has been completely reworked. Everything is now based on HTML instead of proprietary format including support for HTML5. You get richer themes and common building blocks for customization. There is a new feature over here now which is called try it out. So that means like once you are done selecting the right set of color for the overall palette or the background color or the images or the font or the headings, once you are done with your overall customization you can just have a preview of it by just clicking on try it out button and it gives you the preview and uh, on the preview page as well if you feel you make you need to make some changes you can make those changes right over there and those changes will start reflecting in the theme and the CSS as well okay so let's talk a little about the enhanced social and collaboration feature uh, which we have uh, in uh, the newer version of SharePoint 2013. Uh, for example, say my site host, the landing page, the news feeds, uh, the people post, people profile uh, changes, changes on follow documents, um, uh, the overall mentions of each and every contributor, likes, company feeds. These are a few things which has been drastically improvised in 2013. In the older version of SharePoint 2010, even though these things were pretty much there, but now things are over here with uh, the new uh, user experience with more features associated to them as well. Like for example, now you can have everything uh, uh, on just one page or uh, everything just get uh, it's just getting connected or collaborated in the very same fashion on the same uh, environment. For example, like link, exchange, SharePoint now works pretty well with each other. Everything is just getting gelled up pretty easily now. Uh, and uh, the the uh, overall feature of the collaboration has been improvised in terms of, for example, say consider a situation you have plenty of blog posts or uh, plenty of comments. So you can just have a look at on the overall forum or on the overall blog page like who were the top contributors. When you just mouse over your uh, mouse on that specific blog post, you will get to see the little thumbnails of the ones those who posted that uh, blog and those who commented on that blog as well. So these are a few things which has been drastically improvised in the social and collaboration feature. Unlike in SharePoint 2010 where you were only supposed to rate the item, here now we can always like, unlike, reply or comment the item and of course the one who actually posted the blog will always have the right to enable the rating feature for their blogs or for their respective content types. Search uh, has been uh, improvised uh, in uh, 2013 as well. So search functionality in 2013 preview includes several enhancements like custom content processing with the content enrichment web service and a new uh, framework for presenting search result types. Additionally, there have been significant enhancements made to the keyword query language. Uh, SharePoint 2013 also includes a new framework for presenting search results to the end users called result types. Uh, and these result types have several elements that enable each type to be rendered differently. The content search web part uh, is something very new in SharePoint 2013 search and it uses various styling options to display dynamic content on SharePoint pages. It displays search result in a way that you can easily format. Each content search web part is associated with a search query and shows the result for that search query as well, which is something very new in 2013. Okay, let's talk a little about the workflows as well. Uh, workflows in 2013 preview for, uh, are powered by Windows Workflow Foundation, that's uh, uh, WF4, which uh, was substantially redesigned from previous versions as well. Windows Workflow Foundation in turn is built on uh, the messaging functionality that is provided by Windows Communication Foundation, that's WCF. And perhaps the most prominent feature of the new workflow infrastructure is the introduction of Windows Azure as uh, the new workflow execution host. The workflow execution engine now lives outside of SharePoint and Windows Azure, which is excellent. Another of the prominent changes in that workflow on uh, uh, WF4 platform are fully declarative. That is, workflows are no longer compiled into managed 
assemblies and deploy to an assembly cache. Instead, XAML files uh, define your workflows and frame their execution. So to make collaboration easier between information worker and software developer, Visual Studio 2012 provides a SharePoint workflow project types and workflow custom action type out of the box. Visual Studio 2012 also provides templates and support for creating workflows on this new SharePoint 2013 workflow framework, which is excellent. So SharePoint 2013 uh, workflows are pretty much similar to previous versions of uh, workflows except that they are powered by uh, Workflow Foundation 4 and run in Windows Azure. They are also declarative only XAML and uh, designed to interact with the cloud and work with apps for SharePoint. One of the primary benefits is that they enable you to remotely host and run workflow outside SharePoint server. Enterprise content management. This is, uh, even though like this has been a part of the SharePoint uh, like for quite a long time by now, but in 2013, uh, the overall features has been technically advanced. The unified discovery across um, Exchange, SharePoint, uh, and uh, Link uh, has been improvised. Uh, you can now find all uh, things in just one place. You can find uh, more, uh, like in place discovery returns the, re returns the richest data in the SharePoint environment. Find it without impacting the user. Give legal team discovery, like uh, uh, support for OneNote uh, notebooks and uh, documents that I can in search result types also shows up. And uh, folders uh, are supported. So the better developer support is, is intact and versioning has also been improvised. So these are quite a few features uh, that fits in uh, the newly improvised enterprise content management. Okay, uh, this is uh, quite, an, uh, quite a huge area in SharePoint. Many people are using SharePoint to, uh, to uh, post to publish the web content. So uh, the web content management is now improvised in SharePoint 2013. Content authors have a better experience in this uh, new version of SharePoint. Content authors can now copy content from Word, paste it directly into the rich text editor web part, content editor web part, or an HTML field control on a page, and have a resulting semantically correct HTML markup display in the styles that were defined by the site designer. So site owners and designer can now customize the global and, con uh, and uh, uh, the current content navigation menus by dragging and dropping menus item directly on the page. SharePoint 2013 also adds many new features for videos uh, and using videos on pages. This was quite a painful area in the previous version of uh, SharePoint. So a new video content type is added and the video upload process is improved for content authors. Thumbnail preview images are created automatically when a video is uploaded to an asset library and content authors can choose a frame from the video and can use that as a thumbnail preview image. So for automatic thumbnail creation to work, the desktop experience feature must be installed on the front end web server that hosts SharePoint Server 2013 preview. Now a content author can also insert an iframe element into the HTML field on page, uh, which uh, was uh, quite a difficult thing to do in the previous versions. This lets content authors embed dynamic content from other sites, such as videos or map directions, etc. By default, certain trusted external domains are already approved for use in iframes. Site collection administrators can customize the field security settings by changing the default trusted external domains. They can also allow content authors to insert iframes for any external domain or prevent them from inserting iframes on any other page. Finally, SharePoint 2013 preview supports image uh, renditions. Image renditions let you display different size uh, versions of an image on different pages, depending on uh, like who is accessing, from where the bandwidth is coming in, from which page the user's request is being redirected. When you create an image re uh, rendition, you uh, specify the width and height for all images that use that image rendition. For example, if the site has a new article page layout that contains an image field, you can create an image rendition named article image to display the full size image in the article page. Here is a perfect example for that. All right, uh, the end, like we'll uh, talk a little about the business connectivity services as well. It 
provides mechanism to enable experienced users, developers, and business unit IT professionals to do uh, many things and uh, that in a very less time. It reveals external data from enterprise applications, web services, and OData service in SharePoint 2030 in preview and in enrich client office application. It provides office type behaviors such as contacts, tasks, and appointments, and capabilities to external data and services. It provides uh, complete interaction with the data, including write-back capabilities from office uh, application and SharePoint server to the underlying external system data and business object. Having said that, we we can say like now it has a it has got the push and pull both relationship already embedded on it. So. It also enables the offline use of external data and processes. So you can now use 2013 as a hub for a creating rich productivity and collaboration solution that can work with a variety of external systems. BCS also provides the infrastructure that enables SharePoint 2013 to uh, bring data from those external systems into a central system by providing a flexible and extensible means to describe the external uh, system data source and how to interact with it. BCS makes a compelling argument for using SharePoint 2013 preview as the central interface uh, for working with legacy business system in addition to new apps for SharePoint. So that's like uh, pretty much it uh, uh, about uh, uh, like what SharePoint 2013 has to offer. At eDynamic, we have been providing services uh, on SharePoint for intranet, internet, extranet, and we have managed services division as well. And uh, we have been delivering on uh, the web content management and other internet or the ASP or .NET specific area for over 12 years by now. We have uh, more than 200 clients worldwide, and we have delivered more than uh, more than 1,000 projects so far. So, and uh, this uh, is like our like what we do uh, chart just just looks like like we deliver applications for intranet, extranet, in and internet as well, and uh, we provide customization, administration, and configuration support uh, through our managed services program as well. You can connect with us. These are contact information, contact at edynamic.net. Thanks. Thanks a ton for your time today. Have a great day.